Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. Call Jersey Central at 732-545-9282. Toll free at 888-545-9282. Watch Jersey Central live online at WCTCAM.com or listen on your smartphone with the iHeartRadio or TuneIn apps. Connect with WCTC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube by searching 1450 WCTC. And now back to Jersey's Morning Show. Jersey Central with Burt Barrett. 737, it's Jersey Central on the new talk radio, 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Uh, it's Burt Barron. Good morning to you. Contest on the way. We'll do it sometime between now and 8 o'clock. I've got your chance to win four tickets to see Steve Forbes, the chairman and editor-in-chief of Forbes Media. He'll be doing a special presentation at the State Theater in New Brunswick on Sunday, September 25th to celebrate the Rutgers 250 Coming Home events. And uh, your chance to win the tickets is coming up very soon. To the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline we go. And uh, let's welcome back uh, a good friend of WCTC, just a, a great talent, a New Jersey native as well. He's going to be launching a very soon a three-year traveling exhibit of his work. And it's going to begin right here in New Jersey. Of course, where else would it start, right? But let's welcome back uh, Jersey artist James Fiorentino to WCTC. James, good morning. It's Burt Barron. How are you today? Hey, Burt. How are you? Doing well. Good to talk to you. And uh, thanks so much uh, for making yourself available. This is going to be uh, this is a spectacular event that's going on. This a three year traveling exhibit uh, is that typical for for works of art like yours, Jim, to be out traveling for years and years? No, actually, it's kind of different. And, and for doing this for over twenty years, this is probably one of the the biggest and and you know most fun I've ever had doing a, a project. It was probably took me probably over two years to complete and put together these 25 original watercolor paintings that depict all the threatened and endangered species in New Jersey. And, uh, you know, for it to travel all over parts of the state and probably more venues over that time, you know, really enables people to see it all throughout the state. And um, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, this is going to be great. And it's going to kick off uh, coming up, let's see, uh, September 12th. So it's already uh, has begun at this uh, this one exhibit here, right? Yeah, September okay. 12th through October 14th. It starts at DNR uh, Greenway Land Trust in Princeton. Beautiful venue. This whole project um, is in partnership with Conserved Wildlife Organization and uh, Foundation, excuse me. And, uh, you know, they protect um, and educate everybody with about all the species, the threatened and endangered species in the state. So for the kickoff here, um, you know, at this uh, DNR Greenway in Princeton, uh, just a wonderful place to see it. Um, Governor Kane has written the foreword for the book for this, and so there's going to be just so many wonderful things at the opening that, you know, may not be at some of the other openings where we're having actual biologists um, from Conserved Wildlife Foundation um, who will actually stand near some of the paintings uh, that I did. So, for example, like a little brown bat or an osprey or an eastern box turtle. Um, which to me is a really cool way to educate people from the perspective of the, the species. And then also you're seeing a really cool art show. Yeah, and uh, your work, uh, James, uh, I, I've seen you paint uh, athletes and sports scenes and whatnot. Uh, your work in nature is just fantastic. I, I've seen you some of the things you've done for the Raptor Trust and uh, your various works over the years, and I've seen your exhibits really all over the state, but uh, just second to none. Uh, can you talk about some of the new work for this exhibit? Yeah, I, I think that's the cool thing is that most people obviously know me and, and throughout the country as well for my uh, sports artwork and portraits of people. But, you know, wildlife um, has always been a passion uh, for me, uh, going back when I was a little kid doing all these drawings and then obviously becoming associated with the Raptor Trust really got me back into it. Uh, when I had met um, uh, Liz and David from Conserved Wildlife Foundation, we kind of came up with this idea. and was really all based on uh, uh, fifth graders who – um, uh, species on the Edge program. They do essays and artwork uh, throughout the state on species every year. They do a contest, and I was honored to judge it a few years ago. And basically, because of that, we came up with this type of um, idea of this traveling show. And again, it's it's every it's all these wonderful animals from barred owls to humpback whales to seahorse things that you know people don't realize that are even in the state. Um, and that's what's really cool about it, that it's personal, it's like your backyard, it's your home. And then for me, as an artist who's always painting sports and, and portraits, to be able to work on a lot of these paintings was even a challenge for me. And just, you know, like you were saying, a lot of people are saying, wow, I, you know, I can't believe these paintings you did. And so it was just so much fun from learning about all that stuff and then obviously the painting aspect of it. 
Yeah, and, and their work is just uh, magnificent, as we said. Uh, James Fiorentino is our guest this morning on Jersey Central. Uh, the DNR Greenway Land Trust is hosting uh, the premier exhibit of Conserve Wildlife's Rare Wildlife Revealed, uh, the James Fiorentino Traveling Art Exhibition. It is on view now through October 14th. Uh, you can get some more information on the gallery, which is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5. Uh, you can call 609-924-4646. And I did put a link up on our Facebook fan page uh, to drgreenway.org. You can get all the information. A uh, special reception will happen uh, on Friday, September 30th. Uh, and we'll feature our former governor, uh, Tom Kane, will be there that night. Right, James? Yeah, that's going to be an incredible night. So please, anyone who wants to join us, you know, September 30th, it's going to be an unbelievable time to meet everyone and see, all, again, all the biologists at work. And I think we're even going to have um, a live, well, maybe a few live um, animals there. Uh, so it's going to be an amazing opening. And I've been telling people, if you know, it's going to travel all around. So if you missed this, you know, it goes to Studio 7 in Burnsville for November 4th opening. It'll be a lot of different places, but this will be an awesome kickoff um, at DNR. Yeah, this is going to be great. Uh, as far as your work goes, Jim, uh, for maybe for people that aren't uh, familiar with your, your, your great work, is it oil? Is it watercolor? Do you do different sort of styles uh, when you paint a wildlife like this? Yeah, you know, I, you know, I've done all different styles, but my, my signature with all these paintings is watercolor, and that's sort of been my my niche for years that most people see my work and think that it's oils or acrylic. So I paint almost that way, but in watercolor. And I think that style now is giving me a name, whether it's the sports art, the wildlife and nature art, or, you know, portraits of people. I've been blessed to be able to paint some of the greatest athletes before them, you know, like Muhammad Ali's and Ted Williams and Yogi's and Derek Jeter's and, you know, political guys like Gorbachev and Congressman John Lewis. So, you know, it's, it's using that same style, that photorealism, but painting in watercolor, uh, but obviously just using it in, in um, doing nature art and, and wildlife artwork. And I think that's the nice thing is that, you know, there's a lot of watercolor. Like, I'm a member of the New Jersey Watercolor Society, so a lot of people get to meet me, see the techniques that I use, ask me a lot of questions, and, and I, love, I love sharing that because it's a self-taught way of painting watercolor, you know, from taking lessons from when I was eight years old. But it's, it's like this project and all that is really all about New Jersey. You know, I grew up here my whole life. And um, so that's what I think is probably so meaningful to this show is what it's all about. Yeah, and it's going to be a great event that's going on. Again, it is on display uh, through October 14th. Uh, so get uh, get involved and, and go uh, go see James's uh, amazing work. Again, uh, the gallery hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 5. You can visit drgreenway.org uh, to find out some more information about this. Uh, is there some place uh, online, uh, James, where people can go and, and see some examples of your work? Absolutely, yeah. You could you could check me out on Facebook. You just type in James Fiorentino. There's jamesfiorentino.com that has all of my work. Um, and then actually a brand-new website, James Fiorentino Nature Art, which is dedicated just to that. And uh, I'm always happy to answer questions and uh, I, you know, I really look forward to meeting everybody for this, and, and I, you know, I appreciate coming on. It's, it's, it means a lot to me to, to, to be able to showcase all this work, which was, a, I guess, a really long project for me. Yeah, it's my pleasure, and it's really just amazing work. I, I would love, James, one of these days, I would love to take you to one of these, like, Pino's palette kind of place where the public just goes in and paints and say, oh, uh, my friend James here wanted to give this a try, and they'd be like, <laughs> Wow, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's good at this painting <laughs> stuff. Right? Yeah, that's right. I think actually a lot of people who see my stuff uh, and have seen all the work I've done think I'm much older, which is a good thing. I said I'm a, I'm a young veteran and doing this for over 20 years now. Yeah, excellent. And just uh, just a great style. And I, I just have uh, been a big fan of your work for a long time, James. So it's uh, it's really an honor to have you on the show this morning. And uh, keep up the amazing work. And uh, I will get down and see uh, see the exhibit one of these days. All right? That's awesome. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, James. All right. Uh, my guest, uh, James Fiorentino, Jersey native.